It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Denver Broncos and the Baltimore Ravens. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Next to some of the northernmost waters of the beautiful Chesapeake Bay. We're at M&T Bank Stadium near Baltimore's Inner Harbor. Hi there, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers will have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this is a default. A great passer, but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Justin Tucker has this all teed up. And we're off from Baltimore. Here's Traymon Smith with the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. So the Broncos offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be let out by the final quarterback taken in the first round of this year's draft. A lot of experience from Oregon and Auburn. It's Bo Nix. Bo Nix entered this league as a grown-up. 61 college starts will do that for you. A ton of college experience. And Bo Nix is a facilitator. When he is at his best, that ball is in and out of his hands in an absolute hurry. If he were a point guard on a basketball team, he'd want to go up and down the court and get it out of his hands as quickly as he can. He's accurate, he's tough, he's experienced, and he's poised for this challenge of the NFL. Here's Williams to start the drive. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Another run for Williams, and he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, coach gets it that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Going to the ground again on first. He gets it forward for a gain of three. Stopped by one of the league's best tacklers, Roquan Smith. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. They stay on the ground with Williams. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. It's a pickup of three. They're going to need three more now on third down. I don't mind that call on the early downs. Give that defense something to think about. You've got the inside run between the tackles, and whether it's jet sweeps or a little swing pass, or in that case, a toss, make sure you threaten to the outside. Now Nick's on third down. Finds him over the middle. And his short gain gets them a new set of downs. There's no question the greatest concern there was just getting the first down. You want a high percentage throw, and you're not really concerned about big yards. Well, the drag route was perfect. He comes open the short field. It's easy to zip that throw right in there and reset those chains. Throwing on first down, Knicks. That's complete. It's Javante Williams. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Well, this is the type of game we've come to expect from him as a runner, toting the ball, but he's just as adept at turning the screen into the same kind of yardage, too. Second and three now. Out of the gun, it's Nix. Has him on the quick hitter. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that'll be good for a Denver first. It's a game of the smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize 
when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. They go with Williams on the counter. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. I know that may look like a whole lot of nothing burger on the stat sheet, but those are the kind of plays that inside run that you see creative play action come off of later in the game. Second down now, seven to go. Shotgun snap to Knicks. Escapes the pocket. Oh, look at this, here he goes. He slides down with enough to pick up that first. They get an even 10 on that play. And the Broncos will have a first down. You know, before the snap, you know, right before the snap, you may have to take off if the read isn't there. That was a great adjustment made at the perfect time for the first down. Williams now on first and 10. And he manages to reach the 19 before he stopped. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Nicks from the gun. Cut near the goal line. It's a Denver touchdown. What an outstanding opening series, partner. They just wore down that defense as they marched their way to the end zone. Yeah, it took a whole bunch of that opening script to find a touchdown, but it showed just how well designed that script was. It was the right sequence of plays to keep that ball moving and find the end zone while getting your offense established in its top gear right here early on. Will Lutz now on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Broncos will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. On the return, here comes Justice Hill. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. So the Ravens offense taking over for the first time here. And they're brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game. It's Lamar Jackson. A decade plus before Lamar, it was a guy named Michael Vick who was the standard for dual threat quarterbacks. Well, today, that standard is Lamar Jackson, who at his best is an MVP caliber player and the most exciting player, not just in his position, but in all of football. And don't let that running overshadow the strides he's made as a passer to in the pocket and as a franchise quarterback to build upon. First snap, and Lamar's going to throw. Finding Flowers. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Sent down by Cody Barton. All right, here we go. Second down. Out of the gun. Here's Jackson. Pass into the hands of Mark Andrews. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Motion man set left. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And he's caught after a game of about two. In on the tackle is Jonathan Cooper. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. This is one of those real modest gains, Kate, that I like as a call. That's just a little more variety to your playbook. Makes that defense wonder. Those guys on the other side of the ball think a little bit. 
This dude's not just a receiver. He may get in the run game as well. Man in motion here. Play clock down to zero, and the flags come out. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still second down. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Shotgun snap to Jackson. Finds his man. It's Rashad Bateman. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Lamar throwing again. Gets this one to Andrews. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Motioning one of the tight ends. Delay of game. Everyone was set and at the line. The quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Still second down. Still second down. Offense to the line for second down. Running it after the penalty. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. I think with that call, they were trying to set him up with a short third down run. But he said, uh-uh. Nope, not on my watch. I'll just go get it all right here. Now, playbook's wide open for first and ten. First down, and they go right back to him. And he finds space for about a three-yard gain. P.J. Locke getting there for the stop. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Motioning him from the slot right. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still second down. Still second down. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Lamar now from the gun. Andrews with the catch. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. And they send a man in motion. Jackson now on third. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling. Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board. Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. This a 52-yard attempt from the left hash. 
and this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all his concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. the lead to four as they send it away. Here's Smith on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Denver offense taking the field for their second drive. Now trying to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. drive started first and ten to throw here's Nix he had it for a moment but a great defensive play to jar it loose incomplete Portland Sutton the man he was after so that brings up second down well you certainly want those throws to be automatic every team if you're going to be efficient you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Again on second and ten, Nix gets it to him on the screen. He gets a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. We've heard it said, and I believe it to my core, football is the ultimate team sport. And a well-run screen like that is the ultimate team play because it takes all 11 doing their job. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Going left side, Williams with it. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard gain. Justin Matabike making that stop. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. Yes, a smaller gain on the stat sheet with that counter run, but it does diversify their run game portfolio. Makes those guys, and especially the edge defenders, think a little bit. And Kate, I've told you once, I'll tell you a hundred times, I love the play action that comes off of that same counter run action. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. And that makes it third down. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Nick's looking to throw. Completed over the middle. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. It's a game of six. And the Broncos first down. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Give to Williams from the gun. He gets it ahead and winds up with about three. Stopping that play, Trenton Simpson. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. We will not get another play in here. That's going to do it for quarter number one. Seven three is our score. Back to the bank in just a moment. We're back, and it is Broncos football as we resume. They're advancing it well as they face second down. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. It's a gain of 12 there. And that'll be good for a Denver first. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. Nicks with it on first. Got Williams, and it's complete. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. You could see that screen develop as the lineman pull right out in front. Sets up a nice game. Love to see a running back utilize the big man in front of him. All right, set now. First and ten.
Knicks. And he will score. It's a Denver touchdown. The Broncos now lead by 10. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Extra point try now from Lutz. The point after splits the uprights. And the Broncos drive their lead to 11. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. He'll now to return it. Returns looking good so far. And he showed some burst on that return, getting them all the way to their own 40. The Ravens offense returning to the field for their second possession. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't gonna move the needle as much as they need to. The Ravens in a very good field position as they come up first and 10. Lamar off the play fake. Complete Derrick Henry. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. You know, Kate, it is so hard on these defenses to try to keep an eye and monitor on these running backs when they leave the backfield, especially if he's waiting to chip a defender or delays in the start of his route. He's really an underrated part of their overall passing game. They don't get this snapped in time. This is going to back them up. Delay of game. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still first down. Still first down. Set him back five. It's first and 15 after the penalty. They'll run here following the penalty. He swarms in the middle. This gets maybe a yard. In on the tackle was Jonathan Cooper. Only a yard there, so they'll be staring down second and 14. Play fake, Jackson. He lets a heater go deep, middle of the field. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Jackson now, third along. He's on the move. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down, and he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. The Ravens going to punt this away, and here's Jordan Stout to handle that boot. And 
and a fair catch made here at the 17. The Broncos about to get going on offense. Javante Williams headed back out now. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. He got to secure the pick before anything else. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Here's Nix to throw. Short pass brought in. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. They've got first down from the 31. Straight ahead with Williams. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. Second and six coming up here. Up the gut they go with Williams. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. Into the red zone. Touchdown, Denver! The Broncos make it a three-possession game. Javante Williams, the touchdown. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run hitters that are the difference makers, and what a big-time effort. Extra point try now from Lutz. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Broncos push their lead to 18. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Here's Tylen Wallace on the return. And look at this return. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. Now Baltimore returning its offense to the field of play. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. First and ten from the 34. Aguilar, the receiver in motion right. And he's taken down after a short rush at about the 36. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Tried to mix in a little wide receiver carry and catch this defense on its heels. We've seen it work time and again, and it almost got there. Without that tackle, we could have seen a big gainer. But give some credit to the defense where credit is due. They send a receiver in motion right. They go play fake with Jackson. Henry on the catch. He's descended upon quickly and dropped after it looks like a yard gain. That's Baron Browning who makes the stop. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep them short of the sticks. 
They're gonna throw it on third and long. Chase down to his right. He's running for it. And he's gonna get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. That's good for seven yards. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays right before the snap. You know, if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. Putting the tight end in motion. First and ten, here's Jackson. He's got Andrews. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. From the gun, Jackson. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Yeah, th this game, you just can't make it harder than it needs to be. Just get the catch first. Guarantee your yards, and then worry about escaping defenders after the catch. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. That throw's knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Any DB prefers a highlight reel interception and just forcing an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized the pick wasn't possible on the play, well, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. Baltimore lined up in punt formation. The Broncos have Marvin Mims deep to return. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed hit that one. Headed for the sideline. So this one sails over the sideline, and they'll spot it where a touchback would go at the 20-yard line. The Broncos back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And he has run rough shot over them in this opening half. Pretty sure this is the exact kind of start that he was hoping to have here. They're out and set, first and ten. Drive begins with a run, it's Williams. And it's a nice gain on the run, aided by that broken tackle. Good rip on first down, that brings up second and two. From the gun, a carry by Williams. Brushes him off with ease. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Marlon Humphrey on the tackle. It's a gain of 10. First down, Denver. Nick Snat, a throw. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws, well, it's due to end up in a drop at some point. No dice on that prior pass, here's second down. They'll run, this is Williams. And he stopped after running it up across the 45 to the 46. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. Running for the marker with Williams. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. It's a gain of only one yard. That's going to leave him with a fourth and two. Here comes the Broncos punting unit. Tylen Wallace on the return for the Ravens. Before he can break it upfield. 
Nice kick there. It's a punt of 53 yards. And the Ravens will go on offense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Jackson looking to throw. This one's to Andrews L. Wright. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. Second and six coming up here. We give to Henry on the inside handoff. And defenders are there to get him at the line. That's Baron Browning who makes the stop. Looks like no gain on second down, and that leads us to third and six. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. Play clock ran all the way down there, and this is going to cost the offense. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Still third down. Backed up now after the penalty. It's third down. Shotgun snap to Jackson. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It goes as a pickup of 37 yards. And that's good for a Ravens first down. That brings us to the two minute warning at the Inner Harbor. The Ravens driving. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Motioning the tight end left. First down throw for Jackson. Anticipated the quick staccato pass there. It's knocked away, incomplete. You know, that is so hard to do. That's called body control. Great positioning to swat the ball away, not go through the receiver, no penalty flag. He's got the body control and, more importantly, the timing to knock that ball away. Second and ten now. Finds a seam down the middle. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. An excellent game, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. All right, I'll set up now, first and 10. Lamar throwing again. Completed to Flowers. And he'll go down here at the 16. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They send a tight end in motion. Then again, it's Jackson. This finds likely. And they get this down to the seven-yard line. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll motion him out of the backfield. Jackson yet again. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. Now we're going to have a timeout taken by Baltimore. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half.
Gotta forget about first down in a hurry. They need a chunk of yards here on second and goal. Trying again, following the set. Bails out of the pocket quick. He can run it. And this play reaches the 12 yard line before the stop is made. He made something out of that play for them. Everyone's so concerned with defending the pass, they didn't quite keep tabs on what he was doing as a QB. And it gave him just enough room to run. Offense up to the line fast. Now just before the break, a timeout taken by the offense. And they can try for some points going into the break. Ravens call in on Justin Tucker for the field goal. He's hit once already. This is a short one inside of 30 yards. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that lowers the deficit to 15. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. Barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. One last play before the break. They'll turn to the ground game and just run this clock out. And he stopped on a nice gain on what is the final play of this first half. We've reached the midway point of this one, and the visiting Broncos taking a lead into that locker room. Now it's down to Florida, where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll let you and Brock catch your breath as we welcome the rest of you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was former Tar Heel Javante Williams with a solid first half. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, thank you, Coach, and we are back and about set to begin the second half. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. He'll now to return it. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Here comes the Baltimore offense to begin quarter number three. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Now Jackson off the play action. Flushed out of the pocket. Now here he goes. And that's good for a gain of five. In on the tackle is Jonathan Cooper. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm. Yeah. Especially in a situation like that, it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep them moving forward. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Takes off right out of the read option. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. That's Baron Browning who makes the stop. It may not show up as much on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important. 
keeps that defense honest, and in particular, those defense alignment, those cleats in the ground, they're not just coming after you in the pocket. Now they've got to think about you as a runner as well. They motion the slot man right. And the play clock hits zero. This is going to be delay a game. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still third down. Following the flag, it's third and seven. They kick the running back in motion. Jackson now on third. Andrews with the catch. And he'll head out of bounds after a short game. Awareness. You've got to be aware. Play caller, quarterback, receiver have to be aware of where the sticks are. That route just not enough, not deep enough to extend the drive and move the chains. The Ravens getting ready for the punt. Jordan Stout's the one to send it away. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. No return on that punt. And the Broncos get set to take over. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap to Nix. Escape the pocket he's running with it and he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37 that's an 11 yard pickup and it gives them the first down you know these are the type of plays that really get an offense going this is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run that inflates an offense and it can suck the wind out of that defense now it's Williams and they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets a three. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. Second down now, seven to go. Here's Nix. As a man, that's Cortland Sutton. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. It's a pickup of 11. And the Broncos will have a first down. This is Williams. And they're going to bring him down after a good gain to the 40. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Nick's off the play action. Finds him over the middle. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. They've got first down from the 31. On the handoff, this is Williams. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. Second and six coming up here. From the 27. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. You know, quarterback's going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple route to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws will find a drop at some point, too. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. 
Out of the gun, it's Nix. He has the first over the middle. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Offense set for a first and ten. Working inside the red zone. The throw is caught. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short game. I get a win, too. Sometimes you can get to win-win. Second down now, seven to go. A run with Williams. And he's got them down to the doorstep inside the five. A solid gain of six there. It's going to be third and just a yard. Nicks from the gun. Bails out of the pocket quick. And he will score. It's a Denver touchdown. The Broncos push their lead further to start the half. It's a Bo Nix touchdown. Just a great effort there from Embrock to take it upon himself, embrace the initiative, and turn that drive into six. You know, Kate, there was a day when you were watching Steve Young or Randall Cunningham, and that felt like a bonus touchdown. <laughs> but that's not today. It feels like every quarterback's got to be able to score, be a dual threat on the ground. It's part of an offense every single team relies upon. Extra point try now from Lutz. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Broncos grow the lead now to 22 points. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Wallace with a return here. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. We see the Ravens making their way out now. They're running out of time to get this game into a more manageable spot, Brock. We've got a three-score deficit, and we're in quarter number three. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Lamar now from the gun. He's got Andrews. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. P.J. Locke getting there for the stop. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Oh, those linebackers. Those linebackers. They seem to be in the thick of every play and some of the quickest reaction times out there. He needed a quick reaction there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. From the gun, Jackson gets this one to Andrews. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. 
And he'll get under this one and make the fair catch at the 19-yard line. So no return on that punt. And they're going to take over possession. The Broncos running their offense out once again. And unsurprisingly, Brock, a great day on the scoreboard so far for him. Has him with the advantage as we move through this third quarter. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Williams to start the drive. He's pushed straight ahead, and that's maybe a yard at most. Stopped by one of the league's best tacklers, Roquan Smith. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. To throw, here's Nix. That one's complete, right side. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Third down, one yard to go. They'll give it to Williams on the option. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes, but the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. Ball at the 33 for first down. Drop play. This is Williams. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. The rangy Kyle Hamilton getting there for the stop. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. Well, that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of reaction time you want when you face a draw play. They broke on it shortly after the draw started, and they contained it to a minimal gain. On second down, a run with Williams. And he'll have a small four-yard chunk there. Brandon Stevens in on the tackle. Coming up. They stay on the ground with Williams. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. These aren't the plays that will leave highlight reels, but they're the ones that win you ball games. What a nice game by the back. And now his offense can go in any number of directions on first and ten. New set of downs for him from the 46. Going to the ground again on first. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. He ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Second down now, seven to go. Another run for Williams. They're across the 40. Nice run here. All the way. Touchdown, Denver. The Broncos lengthen the lead at the end of the third. Javante Williams, the touchdown. Wow, great stuff there, Brock. He busted that one open, got downhill, and got in for six. Huge run there. Yeah, and this is how you break a game open. He found that lane, and he was gone. What a tremendous effort in the blocking scheme there to just spring him enough so he could take it to the house. Extra point try now from Lutz. The point after splits the uprights. And the Broncos grow their lead yet again.
Here's Lund set to kick this away. Wallace with a return here. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Taken down after advancing this to the 37. Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. It's Ravens football, and they'll look for some points here, but might just be too little too late in a lopsided fourth quarter. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. One of the tight ends motioning left. From the 37. Into the hands of Likely. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Play fake, Jackson. Taken in by Likely. And they're gonna haul him down just shy of the 40. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. This is one of those times, Kate, where I gotta put my glasses on up in the booth and realize the line between receiver and tight end is so easily blurred. Why? Because this guy can run. He showed it before the catch with a great route, and he showed it even more so with the yards after catch. Lamar throwing again. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. It's again at 27 yards to move the chains. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Motioning him from the slot right. And he'll take this only to about the 11 before going down. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Well, this offense is trying to keep the defense off balance down here in the red zone. Mixing and receiver runs with everything else they love to do. And the best part is, it's working. He gets them several yards on that play. A tight end in motion now. Didn't get that one off in time. This is going to be a delay a game. Everyone was set and at the line. The quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Still second down. Still second down. All right, here we go. Second down. Putting a receiver in motion. Shotgun snap to Jackson. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Third and long for him here. And they will take this into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens making the scoreboard look a touch better. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. Justin Tucker to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. 
And the Ravens trail by 22 now. Tucker on to handle the kickoff. On the return, here's Mims. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Broncos and quarterback Bo Nix gearing up for their next series. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Give to Williams from the gun. And the power play up the gun only results in two yards. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Straight ahead with Williams. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. The big play had some 17 yards. And that'll be good for a Denver first. This offense will take that from their ground game every time. But I know, because I've been around this league a long time, runs like that, they're really hard to come by. It takes everybody, and maybe a little breakdown there on defense, too, to take advantage of. First down, and they go right back to him. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Even though that run did not net them a first down, I can promise you this, Kate. I promise you. I know how it works. They're going to circle that one. They're going to remember that one. And when they need some key yards on the ground, they'll come back to that call later. In a good spot here, second and inches. They'll run the toss for Williams. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. That's a short gain of one. And the Broncos will have a first down. Okay, I'll give some credit to the defense there. Limited the gain to the outside, contained him for minimal yardage, but it was going to be tough to stop him from getting a first down as close as they were to the sticks. Motion in one of the tight ends. Williams now on first and ten. He still has room inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down at the 28. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. Throwing on first down, Nix. Throwing the out route complete. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. Wow, certainly found the weak spot in the coverage with that catch. Really goes to show they trust every single player, receiver, running back, in that case, tight end, to be a playmaker in this offense. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the red zone now. He's on the move. And he will score. It's a Denver touchdown. The Broncos keep adding to that fourth quarter lead. It's a Bo Nix touchdown. And he is all smiles down there. He's got his second rushing score this game. And they've got an even bigger lead in this second half. Well, we know it because we call these games week to week, Kate. Almost every single one of them seems to be a one-possession <laughs> nail-biter. To build this kind of cushion and to do it with the strength of his legs, yeah, they're worthy of those smiles down there.
Extra point try now from Lutz. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Broncos continue piling on to this lead. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Wallace with a return here. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Ravens and Lamar Jackson are ready to go again on offense. Get this drive started. First and ten. Here's Lamar. That's taken in by Henry. And he's downed after getting this up to the 41. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. Sure showed off some mobility on that play. Got outside the pocket and easily found an open man. First and 10 from the 41. Now Jackson. Andrews with a catch. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. They motion the tight end over. Here's second and five. Has him on the quick hitter. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. He gets six on that play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. Even more problems now as they don't get the snap off. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Still first down. Still first down. They'll have to come up with five extra yards now after that first down flag. And again, it's Jackson. Henry on the catch. And he's able to cross midfield before going out. You know, these running backs today, they are so versatile. It doesn't matter if they're running it, or in this case, same principle applies on routes out of the backfield. You don't get somebody close to him, that throw is headed his way. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Bateman, the motion man left. Lamar off to play fake. He'll get this to Henry. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. They'll motion a tight end left. Now Jackson on third down. This finds Likely. And he's able to get this down to the 36. That one gains seven. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. Baltimore. 
Now Jackson off the play action. And a man is there to knock that away. You know, I don't fault that look at all, Kate, downfield. It was just an excellent defensive play to deny him the ball and knock it away. That is good on good. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Running back sent in motion. Jackson yet again. Dumped off to his running back. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. Kate, I'm going to call that, even though it looks like nothing on the stat sheet, a win-win for both sides. The defense, well, they rally. They get right to that throw in the flat for a no gain. The offense, well, they just remind that defense. You not only got to cover us vertically, but we're going to stretch you horizontally as well. Jackson now on third. Complete beyond the marker. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. Working inside the red zone. Dump off caught by his back. And he's able to get this down to the 13. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all to try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? He's such an underrated part of their overall passing game. Second and six coming up here. From the gun, a run for Henry. And he only gets this one down to the nine. Give him three yards. That's going to bring up third and two. That's the two-minute warning here from Baltimore. Ravens trying to do some window dressing. Third and just two to go. Lamar now from the gun. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens putting up points in a game decided. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Tucker on for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Ravens trail by 22 now. get onside kick and this one's covered by the Broncos hand team and he'll have it down to the 44 yard line well I guess they kind of had to do it here Brock yeah it's called a have to yeah kind of have to at this point in the game huh okay but like most things in this game it did not work out for them yeah let's face it even if they do recover that probably not going to find a way to win but this is a time where you work on things where you do build to the following week got to find a way to flush this because it's just not been their kind of game From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Up the gut they go with Williams. And 
and the defense gets there to force a small loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Offense to the line for second down. A handoff to Williams. And he'll get this forward, and he's stopped at the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and they only need three more now on third down. Here he goes on the bootleg. Sideline, he's got it, and he gets the feet down, too. They get 18 yards out of it, and a new set of downs. I don't care how good a secondary you are, how loaded you are with talent, when you've got time to allow a receiver to work from one side of the field all the way to the other versus zone coverage, well, you're going to make a defense pay. They have themselves another first and ten. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. First down play, and that's in five. It's going to be second and five. Well, the big guy gets him some positive yardage in close. It's not that the defense didn't expect run. I just don't think they expected him to be the one running it. So the Broncos ride out of here with a win on the road. There can't be too many feelings better than this, Brock. You come in on the road, nobody gives you much of a shot, and you still get the win anyway. Yeah, you love the roar of your own home crowd and to celebrate with home cooking, but it is something to just shut that opponent up. <laughs> and all their fans in their own building. Oh, by the way, yeah, that plane trip or bus trip home is going to be pretty fun, too. With Brock Heward and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Broncos are winners as we say so long from Baltimore.